Alright, hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you some cool keyboard shortcuts you probably never knew about that are going to increase your productivity and how fast you can use your computer basically. So some of the cool things that you can do is you can switch between running programs and open windows by using Alt-Tab. So Alt-Tab allows you to cycle through these different open programs and windows. Now the cool thing about this is if you hover over it so you don't change immediately, it can preview them. So and you can do the same thing with your mouse. So that's pretty cool. Um, another thing that they integrated, I think in Windows Vista, I'm not sure, but if you do the same thing but using Windows Key Tab, you can cycle through them like that. Obviously the image, this one, is your desktop, and I think you can click on the one you want as well. So if I was to click on Steam, it would take me to Steam and back to Windows Explorer, which is pretty cool. Some other ones which I'm sure you guys know, there's Control c to copy, so if I wanted to copy a file, and then I press Control v it would copy and paste the file. So Control c is copy, Control v is paste. Um, but that's pretty basic though. If you in a Word document, uh, and you press Control i it makes something italic. If you are in a Word document, and so Control I makes it italic. As you can see, it went italic, and if I press Control I again, it disables that. Control B is bold, and Control U is underline. Also, from a Word document, if you press Control S, it'll save and open the save dialog. And if you were to press Control P, it opens the print dialog. So that's pretty cool. Some nifty tricks that you can use in a Word document. Another cool thing. Uh, if you're using any type of program really, so let's open the mouse settings for example, if I press somewhere and I press tab, it cycles through the buttons that are available to be pressed. So that's pretty nifty. So now, for example, I've now selected up here where it says buttons and I'll use the arrow keys to then cycle through here and then press tab to select each of the individual ones. So tab has got a use of switching between lines or different things that can be selected. To open the run dialog, we press Windows key R. I can press tab, 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 and it puts a space. So that's pretty nifty when you want to, for especially for like coding in HTML and things like that. Some other keyboard shortcuts for universal, universal for Windows. If you press Windows key uh, D, it goes to your desktop. Uh, does the same thing for Windows key M. I don't know why they did. Oh, okay. Windows key D minimizes everything, especially useful if you have multiple screens. So then Windows key M minimizes just that particular thing. Windows key L locks your computer. I don't know if you can see that, but it locks your computer. Um, then there's some other quite pretty nifty ones, like if you click on a file and you uh, press Alt Enter opens the properties of the file. So if I was to select bucket for example and press Alt Enter it opens the properties of the bucket folder which can be pretty useful if you want to speed up your productivity in using uh, files and managing files and folders. Then obviously you can open your Windows key which you guys all know but a nifty thing that you can do you can actually right click on these entries so they actually are it's actually viewing of a file. So what that means is that you can create your own folders and organize your programs the way you want to do it. Now that may not sound like much but what it means is that if you got all this cuck like I have here I normally like to sort this out to the best of my ability. So for example if I was to right click on the folder and press open you can then open up the directory structure where it puts this. Now if I went to go, if I was to go back I can like make dump all of these in the Adobe for example. So I would just go like that and then Oh uh, yeah, if you drag something and you put it near the top of the Explorer window, it scrolls, it's pretty slow, but uh, you can still do it, it's pretty nice. Um, it's more efficient, come on, on uh, Windows, uh, like Office and things like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Another cool thing, if you're in a web browser and you hold on the middle mouse button or press it once, you can scroll down, uh, which is pretty nifty. If you're browsing the internet and you want to open a new tab, you can press the middle mouse button as well which is pretty cool. Uh, this is Google Chrome but I think it's pretty much universal. If you hold on control and left click it opens a new tab as well. Um, if you press control T it opens a new tab and control W closes the tab. So we go over that again. Middle mouse button open a new tab. Control left click open a new tab. Windows key W close tab. Windows key T new tab. Um, I think Windows key H is your history. Yeah. 
Okay, I've now gone onto my uh, smaller screen to show you some other cool Windows 7 Explorer features, such as if we take it and we drag it against the side of the screen, it gives you this sort of window thing which shows you where it's going to go and if you let it go it docks it on the side. It does the same thing if you drag it to the top. So that can be pretty cool if you want to dock multiple windows. Um, so if I was to take another one we could put it like that and then you can manage files more easily. The keyboard shortcut to do this is Windows key left is to dock on the left obviously up and right. Uh, down is to make it smaller from whatever resolution it is at. Uh, Obviously, I said as you drag it to the top, it makes it full. If you take your window and you shake it around a bit, I don't know if it works on iTunes, but if you have a program open, like Google Chrome behind it, and then you shake it, it minimizes the one behind it. Eh, at least it should. Um, yeah, that didn't work as well as I hoped, but it should minimize it. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's some keyboard shortcuts you can use to manage your... Windows Explorer or some, yeah, so to docking programs and things like that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's some pretty useful keyboard shortcuts that you can use to increase your productivity in Windows. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.